Hey everybody, it's Dave Dugdale, learningvideo.com. As you can see, I'm stepping through all the different saturation levels, and this is on the A7R2. I'm doing a course on it, so I wanted to try a lot of different tests, and just these are just kind of preliminary tests. So I'm stepping through, and you can see it's at plus one, there's plus two, and the final one is plus three, which is pretty saturated. If we look at the elementary scope here, you can see it's kind of leaving the boundary box of saturation, especially on this shirt, and that's why I chose it. And it's very close to the skin tones, so that's why I chose wearing this shirt for this particular test because it's always caused problems before if I raise the saturation too high um, this will go crazy and while I'm trying to get the skin to be correct in terms of saturation so here is my question so if I go back to three and the thought being okay I'm just gonna bring up the saturation level and to match like two and eh, maybe it's somewhere between one and two I think is the correct amount of saturation as you can see it's the two on the vector scope are pretty close. That one has a little bit more. Maybe let's go for this one. I'm gonna to try to match this one. So I'm gonna to try to get that line where my orange shirt is touching that line. So go back to here, and I'm just gonna, there's two saturation slayers. There's one here, and there's one here in this program. And of course there's the, the one down here too, which is for individual colors. But I wanna raise them all up equally. Now watch what happens. Increase it, and you see it starts to distort the signal over here and you can see it's starting to turn more it's it's turning towards yellow and you can kind of see that in the shirt when this happens so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it back to where it just touches that line like the other one I'll go back to plus two and you'll notice the skin tones are totally different I mean I like the skin tones here the skin tones here don't look saturated enough but then you see the shirt is turning yellow where the search search <laughs> the shirt is the correct color here all right, so let's even this one back out to 100, and let's try this saturation slider just to see if it behaves the same way. And sure enough, it does. It you know it starts distorting the signal that direction. So I was like, well, that's really weird. And I'll still try vibrance. And vibrance, as you can see, I'm maxing it out. It's not doing anything. It's just no. <laughs> so that doesn't work. So then I thought I started thinking, well, obviously these saturation sliders must be based off Lumetri of speed grade, right? So I went into speed grade and I did some tweaking, which I'm not gonna show the round trip on this one, but watch this. If I turn this one off, this is the one I've been working with, when I turn this one on, this Lumetri color, which I did in speed grade, watch what happens. Boom! Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, look at that. It looks exactly like the plus two. So minus three and plus two look exactly the same now. What is going on with these saturation sliders? If anybody at Adobe can tell me um, why the saturation sliders here are acting funky, they don't bring up the colors equally compared to speed grade. And I'm sure if I wanted to resolve, it would probably work just fine. I haven't tried that yet, but why, oh, why is that changing? So let's go ahead and do this one more time. I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna turn, turn this one on and then I'll bring up the saturation and if I go to Lumetri you can see how it's bending the color of my shirt towards yellow whereas you look at this one look at the skin tones look at my face right here this looks more desaturated so it's bringing up the wrong colors or doing something incorrectly so yeah all right, if anybody can tell me what's going on, I'd appreciate it. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.